right? If you put all the ingredients out, yeah, so we got everything. Um, camera set, yep, shot's good. Who is knocking on the door of this place? and welcome back to the worst keto cooking show on the entire internet. My name's Joey, I'm the host, and today we are doing a special episode of Fast Food Friday because today is the first your suggestion. So on my first Fast Food Friday, I made the Taco Bell Keto Crunch Wrap, which was awesome and I'll link to down in the comments. But I had a comment from Shell B, I think I'm getting the name right, uh, she had said the thing she missed the most from fast food was Taco Bell's Mexican pizza. I've never had that before. Uh, the crunch wrap is the only thing I would ever get from Taco Bell. Usually that and a hard shell taco and maybe a Baja Blast. And Anyway, very rarely did I ever actually eat Taco Bell. But I'd never even heard of the Mexican pizza before. So I looked up a few different, you know, copycat recipes of it. And there was not a single one that was low carb or keto. So today, I'm going to be the first person on YouTube to make a copycat keto Taco Bell Mexican pizza. So we're going to go to the kitchen and we're going to get started with this. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so ingredient roll call. We've got some low-carb tortillas right here. So these guys are four net grams of carbs per tortilla. So you want to you wanna be safe with these guys. The thing to keep in mind is there are, what is it, 11 grams of fiber. So a little of these are going to go a long way in keeping you full and uh, keeping the train moving down the track. we got some ground beef right here. We've got some taco seasoning. So the taco seasoning I've got per two tablespoons is going to be four uh, total carbs. So yeah, be kind of mindful with that. We've got some red enchilada sauce. That's only four carbs per, I think, quarter cup. If I can focus on that, yeah, so per quarter cup. So you're good with that one. We got cheese, we got ground beef. So this one's gonna be pretty simple to put together. The first thing we're going to do is cook our ground beef. Uh, before we start that, though, we do have the oven preheating at 350 degrees, and now we're going to go ahead and ground our meat. is preheated and what we're going to do first is take our tortilla wrap maybe throw some uh, some ground beef some ground beef right here So one of the things that's in the Taco Bell Mexican pizza, I've actually never had that before. Uh, this is, like I said earlier, a viewer suggestion. So again, thank you for the suggestion. If you guys have any ideas of things you'd like to see me try, please let me know. Uh, but I've never had one of these before. So 
This is going to be my first time trying this. Let me clean off my spoon real quick. But one of the uh, the main ingredients of it is the refried, refried beans. Uh, we can't have refried beans on keto. So what we're going to do instead is maximize everything that we can't have. I found I have better success if I focus on what I can have than try and get in my head about what I can't have. And if I can have more of something and use that to substitute what I can't have, it makes this a lot easier on me. Move that out of the way. So I'm going to go and put some, uh, some sheets on top of that. Out of the way. Then we're going to put our second layer of quesadilla on top here. I'm going to open up my can of red enchilada sauce. I need to make enchiladas on here one day. That's one of my absolute favorite foods in the entire world. Also need to get a better can opener. And it went down into the sauce. Fantastic. Get out of there. Now we are going to smother the top of this with some more cheese. So Taco Bell just uses a couple of regular sliced tomatoes. I've told you guys before, I love this. The diced tomatoes with green chilies. Uh, this is just absolutely delicious. And anytime I make any sort of Mexican dish, make sure I don't cut myself here. Anytime I make any sort of Mexican dish, this is usually my go-to. So instead of just doing a couple of tomatoes on top, let's do a couple of tomatoes and chilies. So our oven has been preheating at 350 degrees. This is gonna go in there for 15 minutes while the cheese gets everything nice and bubbly. So the timer just went off and let's see if I can do this without making a mess here. Ooh, that is messy, but that looks good. So I'm gonna let that guy cool off and then we're gonna give this a shot. All right, guys, so right here, I've got my first ever piece of a Mexican pizza, a uh, keto Mexican pizza, Taco Bell style. So like I said, I haven't tried this before. This is my first time making this recipe. And I tried to get one of the pieces that was uh, kind of like how a Buddhist would order their pizza, one with everything. Sorry. Anyway, we're going to give this a shot. So one thing I will say is that I threw this back in the oven for about another five minutes or so. Uh, the This type of keto low-carb tortilla, uh, the bottom got a little bit soggy on there, so maybe cook this on like a wider rack, or maybe cook the tortilla that you're going to use as the base first. Like I said, this was my first time giving this a shot, so we'll see how it goes.
Mmm. Okay. So, Shelby, thank you for the suggestion. This is about to become a regular part of my dinner lineup. Um, this is fantastic. Wow, this is good. So, I'm going to set this aside. I'm about to inhale that entire thing as soon as I turn off this camera. Um, wow, that's good. So, I hope you guys give this a shot. If you do, leave me a comment down below telling me how you liked it, any changes you made to it. Like I said, this was my first time making it. If you make this and change it up a little bit, please let me know how it turns out for you. Follow me on Instagram at Dirty Keto Mercer. Leave me a comment, like the video, subscribe, share, let other people know. Like I've told you guys before, these videos, this is keeping me honest with my diet. Uh, check out my sponsor, wintersfieldfitness.com. And God bless, guys. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye. Hey guys, I just want to thank today's video sponsor. Wintersville Fitness in Valdosta, Georgia is an 11,000 square foot gym with top of the line life fitness strength and cardio equipment. It's veteran owned and locally operated facility and was voted the best fitness center in South Georgia in 2020. They have five certified personal trainers on staff and have group fitness classes including yoga, Zumba, spin, and cardio kickboxing. Their boot camps are ran by a trainer who first brought the boot camp classes to South Georgia several years ago, and all clients of the boot camp are guaranteed results from the six-week course. For a down-to-earth gym in a clean and safe environment, go see them at 1711 Norman Drive in Valdosta, Georgia. Check out their Facebook page or visit them at wintersvillefitness.com.